And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. Rebellion. I hate to see a get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. What are you up to now? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. How remarkable. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalves made at the Henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there... Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Gran's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. A 
shield. I wonder if the pillars move at all. I suspect we all know what lies beyond that passage. And now, I'm afraid I must leave you. At least for a time. You're not coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. Rebellion. Look at the murals on the wall. There's this place must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. Rebellion. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Accio! Guardian Leviosa! Leviosa! <sighs> Rebellion. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. Lumos. Lumos. Can bring up. 
Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Lumos! This isn't the dead end it seems to be, but how to get through? Look at this place. Little puppy sweeting. Forgot how to cover your track. What was that? Not door and nuts for certain. Stop right there. against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw, Epic. Finish your work here, brother. 
All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. Revelio. There, there they are. Now, all that remains is to break the charm. You want us to... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. care for themselves and surely once word gets out of their reappearance <sighs> no harm will come to them the centaurs will see to that you have my word thank you doran for helping us to find them and to fight for them it is you who deserves the merit child you did what the poachers would never have remember that You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. Rebellion. Lumos.
Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. There's Ollivander's. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. <laughs> Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? 
I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an Altanati right away. For now, though, 
I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. Rebellion. Rebellion. Akio. One less poacher in the wizarding world. Alohomora. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? You're back! Nice to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart, are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. 
Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. We can only hope that we're not too late, and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door. Please meet me as soon as possible. I received an interesting owl from Joanna Bickel about Harlow. right out of a storybook. Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Harlow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. 
My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. This will not end in your favor. Little Nat Sionai, in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. A shame! Mark my words! Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. What on earth possessed you to do something like that? I don't know, but what other choice did I have? You were in danger. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. 
I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice based on instinct. My father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? Taking down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. You can always count on me for a fight when it comes to poachers. That makes two of us. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of, uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Highwing can join us? Rebellion.
I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. If his loyalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced the worst, Professor. Search the area! Must be here somewhere. We must be getting closer. Renrook, we'll be pleased with our progress. Much more of the concrete though. Wall, that's the way forward. Very perceptive, my young friend. It worked. Let's go. Lumos! Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Lumos! Lumos! Ranrock will be late. Listen. More goblins up ahead. What have we here? haven't brought us much luck so far.
We're getting closer, Professor. That way. have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms.
I'm relieved we got here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? I have decided to open the repository. Its power cannot lie dormant for centuries more. After everything you've seen? What about Isadora's fate? No. You're right. I haven't forgotten. The cost is too high. Perhaps this magic is best kept contained. I'm relieved to hear that. I know the power is tempting, but I'm glad you've decided to keep it contained for now. And whilst that may be the right decision in this moment, I confess I have been thinking... What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her, and the others, sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? The Keepers were right. The risk of using this magic is too dangerous. It is my responsibility alone to keep it safe. I understand, but you are not entirely alone. I will do all I can to help you. Uh, the arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <laughs> Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either.
can't stop me. There's nowhere to hide now, Rambo.
Professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Mm. Um. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! I can't believe we lost Fig. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Glad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. I wish the same could have been done for my uncle. I wonder if there's a chance Anne would meet me. Sebastian, I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I, I'll let you know. Sebastian, there's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait. What? What are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. It was the Loyalists. It's always been them. 
The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. And she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. Ominous said he's spoken with Anne. I wonder if she'll see me. I'll find out and send word when I know more. I've thought about what you told me in the Great Hall. I would like to speak with you. Meet me in the Undercroft as soon as you can. This Dedalian Keys challenge is coming along nicely. Off on another adventure, are we? Can't thank you enough for sorting the bells out. They sound magnificent. I'm glad you came. Sebastian, I've received your owl. What's happened? Ominous spoke with Anne about what happened with my Uncle Solomon. She believes I should pay for what I did, but she won't turn me in. She said the guilt I'll have to live with is punishment enough. I'm so sorry, but I'm glad you know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is, I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. Anne may just need some time. Surely one day she'll be able to forgive you. I hope you're right. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Well, it wasn't easy, but I believe in you, Sebastian. I've had a sense about you since that first day in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Seems so long ago. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts.
Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient. Forty-two staircases, and this is where they put me. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumours. You've ridden a Graphorn, befriended a Goblin, rescued Hippogriffs. And I don't even want to know the truth behind the rumours that you visited Azkaban. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been Snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in, late, to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us.
Bombarder.
I don't have anything for this at the moment. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Revelio! Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. It's George. Shut I'm sure of it. Who is George? That. That is George. <gasps> Explain. He was trying to become an Animagus. And we were in a field full of sheep. All is now clear. What you have here is an Ovis Aries, commonly known as a sheep. No, it's George. Did your friend George hold in his mouth a mandrake leaf for an entire month? What? And equip uh, himself with the chrysalis of a death's head hawk moth. A what moth? To which he added a silver teaspoon of dew from a place touched by neither sunlight nor human feet. All I know is he said, a tomato animagus. The word is a mato. Oh, George, I know his voice. Oh, he's after my boober tubers. <laughs> Can you get him away? George, stop it. Look, he knows his name. George? What are you doing with a sheep? You can't bring a sheep into school. I was sure it was you. Out, right now. Now! I look nothing like a sheep. You just wait till I speak to Professor Weasley. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. What sort of world are we in where children solve our problems? Handy resource. Revelio. Lumos.
Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos.
Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Oh, I have never encountered an aura quite like yours. You are truly exceptional.
when mentor and student come. How nice to see you, my young friend. The path you walk is precarious. You should return to me often for guidance. Revelio. Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio. 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 Lumos.
Lumos. Handy resource. What you Revelio. All of us owe you a great debt. Revelio. 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 Hogsmeade, here I come. Yo, you're back. Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again.
Trouble's brewing and I'm without my friends. Revelio! The location marked on the map isn't far from here. Around here can sleep a bit easier now. Revelio.
Revelio. Can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented. Hasn't been anyone as bad as Barnabas Devil. Huh. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derricol. Ah, uh, yes. The magical bird can disappear when it senses danger. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> Such a funny name. I'm worried about a large albino derricol known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. Seems you're more concerned with the feathers than the bird. But she'd be safer with you than with poachers. Indeed. They'd pluck her feathers and likely kill her when they were through. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. I'll keep an eye out for a large white Derrical. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. Be prepared to chase her. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. I suppose I should watch for Gwenaira. At night, apparently. This must be the Dirical Den that Miss Moffat told me about. Now where is Gwenaira? Oh no, you don't. Do cooperate, won't you? Arrest the momentum. Now I need 
need to let Miss Moffat know. Nice to see you, my young friend. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, hello! Any Miss Moffat, I call Gwenaira. That's incredible! Was it terribly difficult? She was difficult to track down, but I managed in the end. Believe me, I know. Well, may I have her now? Yes, but I'll be expecting payment first. I suppose that's fair. I'm well aware of how difficult she must have been to catch. She has such exquisite plumage. Oh, I shall make the finest attire from her feathers. And she'll have a good life too, of course. <sighs> Thank you so much for bringing me Gwynaira. I shall keep her safe and only use her feathers sparingly. Revelio. Mine now, Demi guys. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I do hope he hasn't been kidnapped or eaten. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. He's lovely company. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the ashwinders that are lurking about. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. What do you have for sale? What's brought you here today? That hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate, for Rococo's sake. Can never have enough stock. That's what I... Thank you for stopping by.
Who lived here, I wonder? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Alohomora. Rebellion. 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 Good for you. Bombard us. Rebellion. Can these rocks have seen better days?
Bombarder. Levioso. I've seen this coming. I told you all, too many mines at work and not one needed. Not one. Is it gonna be? We were just Marvelous strike! That was a days are over. Revelio. This must be the castle where Miss Coffee Ashwinders. Expulsion! Incendio! Tristan! Defender! Half Ascender! Expulsion! Accio! Levioso! Expulsion! Mike, what a look at! Incendio! We don't have those snitches if you are to see it. Oh, my friend. And now, defend them. Descend them. Thanks, Dill. Expel the armors. You're going to regret that. Crucio. Ah! No! Accio. Let me go. Knowing a meat, he's like Revelio.
Revelio. Bombarda. I know what that means. Merlin trial certainly looks to be the place. I hope the Ashwinders haven't done anything with Rococo. Where in Merlin's name am I? Revelio! Confringo! Revelio. Confringo. Accio. Confringo. Glacius. There we go. Ashwinders. Should have treasure. That Niffler's certainly leaving quite a trail. Revelio. Last time I saw you claiming you had a full belly was when Arthur Crank's pig went missing. Now, I robbed every... Accio! Revelio. I better watch my step in here. Bombarda! Revelio. Revelio. Wait, is that the hippogriff from my treasure? Ah! It's the one they took. Let me open. Revelio. Let me open. 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 Let me Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio.
More treasure. Rococo. Says there's treasure here, then there's treasure here. Keep looking. I should follow the treasure to find that link. You may have been in control. Arrest the momentum. Revelio. The dark arts. I grow up in the fool. You're the one who had Harlow sent to Adam. Oh, more rash wonders. <laughs> Arrest the momentum. Must be arrested. Oh. Real quick. What's this? Some sort of treasure map? Rebellion. I know what you did to Harlow, and I'm not one to forgive. Rebellio. Defender. Accio. 
Wingardium Leviosa. Niffler's a tricky one. Revelio. this. Arrest over Revelio. Bombarder. I wonder who lives here. 